टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द कंटिन्यूस वेरिएशन व्हाट इज कंटिन्यूस वेरिएशन दिस कंटिन्यूस वेरिएशन इज बेसिकली जेनेटिक वेरिएशन व्हिच शोस अ रेंज ऑफ फिनोटाइप्स ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर ट्रेट इन अ पॉपुलेशन दैट मींस वी कैन राइट डाउन दैट इन कंटिन्यूस वेरिएशन a range of phenotypes a range of phenotypes of a particular trait a range of phenotypes of a particular trait are present in a continuum that means uh, continuous variation is that type of genetic variation where we observe a range of phenotypes of a particular trait in a population for example i will explain it with the help of an height height is an example of continuous variation height is height in humans is an example of continuous variation for example we have got an we have got a population and in that population and in that population we have individuals of different heights in a population some uh, one individual would be of tallest that would be a tallest person and in a population and in that particular population the another individual would be a shortest shortest so we can say that the uh, the different heights are also possible uh, in between the tallest person and the shortest person for example if uh, we can take an example of this uh, uh, the tallest person is 6 six, 6 six feet in a population and the smallest person is for example 4 feet in a population that means in between 6 feet and 4 feet there would be different ranges of the individual some individuals would be uh, 5.8 feet some would be 4.8 some would be uh, 5.5 so we can say that for example we have got a population and in that population we will take the example of human height this is the tallest person this is the shortest person so uh, continuous variation means that there is re- range of phenotypes of a particular trait in a population that means tallest person and smallest person in between these two heights the other heights are also possible for example some individuals would be of this height some individuals would be of this height some individuals would be of this height some individuals will be of this height so we can say that uh, cont- in continuous variation in continuous variation we see a range of phenotypes of a particular trait in a population here we have taken a trait height and in height we see a range of values would be present between the between the tallest person and the shortest person so if we will plot a graph for example this is we'll take height height is a character and we'll take here number of people number of individuals obviously we'll show it with the help of a bar graph this is some would be of this is the tallest one this shows the bar graph for the continuous variation so this is the this graph 
this graph is a typical for the continuous variation this is continuous variation so continuous variation is that type of genetic variation where we have range of phenotypes of a particular trait in a population so it would be like this that means in continuous variation we have bell shaped bar graph bell shaped bar graph bell shaped graph we can say that in continuous variation bell shaped graph so it would be like this it is like this so it is character this is number of individuals so this is bell shaped bell shaped graph for continuous variation same is the case with the same is the case with the uh, if we we'll take height in humans other examples are or uh, for the continuous variation second color second color is also an example of continuous variation same is the weight it is also a continuous variation then we have intelligence intelligence what is called iq this is example of continuous variation second color these are the examples of continuous variation second color weight intelligence or milk yielding cows cows it is an example of continuous variation same is the we have height in plants it is an example of the continuous variation uh, in case of skin color we'll also obtain a graph like this for example we have this is character character here is skin color they have we have got number of individuals number of individuals obviously this is like this is the bar graph for the skin color the bar graph for skin color so this graph and this graph are similar because height in humans and skin color in humans is a case of continuous variation this uh, continuous variation it shows i told you that it shows a typical the bell shaped graph is a typical of the continuous variation this uh, continuous variation is also called as fluctuating this is also called as fluctuating variation this continuous variation is also called as fluctuating variation why continuous variation is called as fluctuating variation because uh, this uh, the value for the character it fluctuates on the either side of the mean value or average value for the species that means for example this is the mean value or average value of the character for the species the these uh, the other values they fluctuate on either side of the mean value or average value uh, of the character for the species so it is also called as fluctuating variation because if the this is because the values they fluctuate on either side of the mean value or average value for the species this is what, what is called as fluctuating variation uh, this uh, in case of this uh, continuous variation as we as we plot this continuous variation in a graph we find that the maximum the mean character or normal character this is a mean character it is shown by the maximum number of individuals this is shown by the maximum number of individuals and then the number of uh, individuals decrease with the increase in the degree of the 
fluctuation uh, matlab uh, when we move away from the mean value the number of individuals decreases that means number of individuals decrease number of individuals decrease with increase in degree of fluctuation that is the mean value or the average value it is shown by the maximum number of individuals and when we move away from the mean value or average value the number of individuals decreases so maximum uh, normal mean value mean value or normal character shown by maximum number of individuals of individuals so this is the case this uh, average value or mean value it is shown by this is mean value it is shown by maximum number of shown by maximum number of individuals this mean value or average value for the character it is shown by the mean value or average value for the character it is shown by the number of most of the individuals and then the number of individuals decrease as we move away from the uh, average value or the mean value then another important uh, case this uh, continuous variation it is controlled by polygenes that means this continuous variation is continuous variation this is controlled by polygenes that is many genes it is controlled by more than two genes that is it is controlled by this trait is controlled by more genes and this uh, continuous variation is strongly influenced by the environmental factors it is strongly influenced by environmental factors that means for example if we'll take an example of the skin color uh, those individuals which are greater exposed to the sunlight they show darker skin color as compared to the uh, individuals as compared to the persons uh, which are which are exposed to the moderate or lighter sunlight they will they will not be so much darker as compared to that of the uh, people who are exposed to the strong sunlight so people who are exposed to strong sunlight they are darker as compared to the people who are exposed to the weak or or uh, moderate sunlight it means that continuous variation is strongly influenced by the environmental factors uh, this uh, then another important thing regarding the continuous variation is that uh, this continuous variation uh, it th in case of continuous variation the genes show additive effect genes show additive effect additive effect that means more for example we will take a skin color more da more darker genes more darker skin color will be the will be will be possessed by the individual like smaller the number of darker genes lighter will be the skin color and vice versa if in an individual the darker genes are the number of darker genes is larger those that means the skin color would be darker so it uh, shows the additive effect this uh, continuous variation is caused by continuous variation it is caused by it is caused by um, segregation of chromosomes at the time of gametes at the time of gamete formation so se chromosome segregation
Continuous variation is caused by chromosome segre segregation at the time of gamete formation. Then this continuous variation is caused by uh, crossing over, crossing over and recombination. Crossing over and recombination. That is exchange of genes between homologous chromosomes during meiosis. Then it is also caused by random fusion of gametes. Random fusion of gametes. So continuous variation is caused by the segregation of chromosomes at the time of gamete formation. This continuous variation is caused by recombination and crossing over that is exchange of genes between the homologous chromosomes during meiosis. This continuous variation is also caused by the random fusion of gametes which gamete will fuse to which which male gamete will fuse to which female gamete is a matter of chance it is also responsible for the continuous variation so these were the important points regarding the continuous variation where an individual shows a range of phenotypes of a particular trait in a population and it shows a bell-shaped graph human height skin color um, intelligence coefficient body weight these are the typical examples of the continuous variation hope you understood thanks